Beyond Snapping, Persistent Tweakable Alignment and Distribution with Sticky Lines. Have you ever wasted time aligning graphical objects, realigning them, and realigning them again? Our first study showed that most systems lack persistence, control, and generalization. We introduced Sticky Lines. Sticky Lines support persistence. Users can create a sticky line and snap objects to it. Moving the sticky line keeps the objects aligned. A sticky line can also distribute objects evenly and redistribute them when the user removes or adds objects. When objects are roughly aligned, creating a sticky line aligns them. Objects can be attached to more than one sticky line by their centers or their sides. Users can collect objects with a sticky line by releasing it close to them. The system provides feed forward to show possible alignments and automatically creates sticky lines accordingly. Sticky lines support control. Users can adjust a visual alignment by creating what we call a tweak displayed as a purple line. Tweaks can be copied onto other objects. Tweaks belong to the objects and can be deleted. Users can edit the bounding box of an object to match its visual extent. This affects both center and side alignments. Like tweaks, bounding boxes can be copied and pasted onto other objects. The bounding box also affects the even distribution of objects on a sticky line. Sticky lines support generalization. Users can reshape a horizontal sticky line into a circular one and resize it. They can also create a ghost sticky line to align objects at a fixed distance from an existing shape. Users could create parallel sticky lines to keep objects parallel at any angle. They can also control the distribution curve. We ran a control experiment to assess the efficiency of sticky lines. We compared sticky lines with traditional alignment commands for two levels of difficulty, easy layouts and hard layouts. The results show that for complex layouts, sticky lines are up to 40% faster and require 49% fewer actions. Finally, we observed designers as they use sticky lines to create complex layouts. We asked them to recreate a poster with complex and ambiguous alignments. They then had to adapt it to a new page orientation. Finally, they had to create two variants based on the same objects. We observed numerous unanticipated uses of sticky lines, such as using tweaks and bounding boxes for grouping and wanting to align sticky lines. For example, participant one used sticky lines to semantically group elements. In the second task, he wanted to merge two guidelines that were visually aligned. Sticky lines provide persistence, control, and generalization of alignment and distribution for graphical object manipulation.